Hey guys, and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Steam if you're getting an error message that says Steam must be running to play this game. So let's jump into it. If you guys are new to Guide Infinity, if you could hit the like button and the subscribe button, that would be amazing. We're super close to hitting 1400 subscribers um, and it really does mean so, so much to us. Okay, so if you're trying to play a game on Steam and you're getting an error message, there are a few things that you can try to resolve this problem. The first thing I would recommend is actually just go ahead and restart Steam. So what you're going to want to do is exit out of Steam fully. And to do this, come down to the bottom right hand corner on your desktop and click onto the arrow to show hidden icons. Then what you want to do is locate the Steam icon, right click and then click onto exit Steam. So what that is going to do is shut down Steam completely. And then what you can do is just go ahead, open up Steam again and try to play the game and see if that resolves your issue. Now, the second fix I would recommend is for you to actually disable your firewall, as sometimes your firewall or antivirus can actually interfere with certain games on Steam and allow this message to appear. So to do that, what you're going to want to do is come down to the bottom left hand corner on your desktop and you want to click onto the search box and type firewall. Then open up your firewall and network protection. And what you're going to want to do is check that your Steam app is allowed through the firewall. So to do that from this screen, all you want to do is navigate to where it says allow an app through the firewall. Give this a click and that's going to open up a window like this. So what you're going to want to do is just scroll through the list of apps and it's in alphabetical order. So you just want to scroll down to the S's and you want to make sure that Steam is showing here and that both the private and public boxes over here are both ticked. Now, if you don't see the Steam app showing, what you're going to want to do is press onto the box up here, which says change settings, then come down and press onto allow another app. Then what you can do is press the browse button and locate the Steam app, the Steam app, which is generally on your desktop if you have it as a desktop item. If not, you can just come into your C drive and of course add it that way. So if that's set up, then what I would recommend doing is go ahead and restarting Steam and trying again to see if that fixes the problem. So the next fix is it could actually be a problem with the game itself. So it could be due to corrupt game files or some kind of bug. So what I would recommend doing next is once you've logged into Steam, coming up to the top left hand corner and pressing onto your games library. Then what you want to do is find the game that you're unable to play that you get an error message from. So in this example, I'm just going to click onto Counter Strike 2. Now what you're going to want to do is right click onto the game in the game list on the left hand side and then come down and click onto properties. And if you come over to the left hand side, you're going to want to click onto installed files. And then what you want to do is verify the integrity of game files. So you can see this option here, just go ahead and click this button. It just takes a minute or so to do this. And what it's going to do is basically scan the game files to see if there's anything missing or if there are any corrupt or damaged files, in which case it's going to offer you an option to reinstall and fix the installation and basically allow you to play the game again. So again, after doing this, just go ahead and restart Steam. And hopefully one of these methods is going to help you resolve this problem. So that is how to go ahead and fix if you get an error message saying Steam must be running to play this game. I hope this tutorial helped you, go, helped you guys out. If you could hit the like button and the subscribe button, that would be amazing. And if you have any questions, you can always leave it in the comments section down below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And we'll see you in the next one.